Hello learner, this is Ajit from Lomo Saki Labs and today I'm going to show you how to render a plan in four different ways and add on more detailings to it. So let's get started. To start off with, you can just go and create folders where you can keep your plans, your furnitures and your tree as PNG saved. Uh, over here I have a floor plan folder where you can see I have saved the plans. Now I just want you to see one thing here. Uh, make sure that when you are saving the plans there has to be three different formats of plan that has to be saved. Like the first format can be your normal plan which has your furniture, your walls, your door swings, everything even your text over there. The second one that you can save has to be only your walls. So make sure there is no furniture or any text in between so that it's easier for you to select the entire room okay using a marquee tool or a lasso tool and the third one that you can save is that can be somewhat like this which has both just your furnitures and you can even add text over here or better it's uh, always you know suggested that you can add the text in photoshop itself it gives you a better quality so this is all about your floor plan the same way you can just go ahead and you can save the trees as well you can go and save tree top pngs and you can even save the furnitures furniture top png now we will be seeing three different types of rendering here the three different types that i already mentioned is your a normal black and white rendering that generally we see it on all our, our art daily submit submissions and the other one is your smoky render and the third one that we will see is a color and a pattern rendering so we will see these three different types of rendering so let's get started with photoshop and take our rendering forward so to start off with we will see our first type of plan rendering today that is a black and white plan rendering that we generally see on our art daily submissions now uh, to do such kind of renders you can just go first we we'll create a sheet here let's say we go and create a sheet now i go to create new and uh, you can see i have a a3 sheet saved already here so that is you can just go and name it as a black and white and i'll just name it a black and white plan rendering now over here you can decide the size of the sheet and the orientation so i'm using a mm so a3 is 420 cross 297 but i'm using a portrait orientation because our my plan was aligned in a portrait mode i'll keep a resolution of 300 pixel per inches a color mode can be rgb or cmyk now that depends if you're planning to take a print of this you should always work on cmyk mode why because our printer works on cmyk mode and if you have worked with a rgb color mode and you try to take a print on cmyk then there can be a color mix and match so you just make sure that it, they both are on the same mode uh, a background color i'll just go and keep it as white itself it was already on white so no change and 8 bit is perfect and i click on create so that's my sheet here now let's go and drag and drop and import our plan to this so i'll take my plan and i'll import it over here since the plan was also plotted on a a3 portrait sheet so it will just match and you can just hit enter or you can click here now the next thing that i'm gonna add to this is i'll go and color off my walls here first so how are we going to do that so that's kind of very easy you can just go either you go ahead and rasterize your plan layer and you can just take a paint bucket here you can just go and take a paint bucket and since you already have a foreground color as black you can just go and click and it will get added now you should just create different layers for wall when you are doing it so that you know you can go ahead and delete that layer whenever you feel like so i'll just go back by control z control z control z you can keep going back now for an older version it can be control plus alt plus z now i'll make sure that my plan is a smart object itself and you can take a magic wand tool now when you're working with a magic wand tool make sure your contiguous is on so that you can select the walls here and i'll just go ahead and select the walls and hold shift and keep selecting the walls over here 
now when you're done with your wall selections you can just select the walls over here and when you feel like you have selected all the walls just go ahead and click here to create a new layer and you can just press alt plus backspace since you have foreground color as black so you can just press alt plus backspace and control d to deselect the thing so you can see you have already colored your wall layers here now the next thing that we have to do is add our furniture with a little low gradient and you can just add a gradient of gray color around to make it look a bit smoother so let's do that and see how the plan looks now we can do one thing we can go ahead and add our furniture layer as well to this so just go down and take the floor plans and i'll add my furniture layer so i'll just drag and drop it here and you can just place this furniture layer over here and you can do one thing you can just reduce the you can just change the blend mode for this now we can do one thing we can go ahead and add our furniture layer as well to this we can just go and take this furniture layer and sorry furniture plan and we can just go and drop it over here you can just hit enter or click here and you can change the blend mode from normal to multiply so that you can see both the things now if you want you can rename the layers as well you can just double click and rename the layer you can just type furniture here and make sure you double click on the text part if you double click outside then it will basically open your layers type now i'll just go down and reduce the furniture layer opacity you can just go down to this opacity and you can reduce it you can double click and type the opacity as well or you have a shortcut to reduce the opacity you can press 1 for 10 2 for 20 3 for 30 4 for 40 and likewise so i'll just set my opacity somewhere to 50 or 60 now I can just go in and you can see the furniture is still a bit dark so I'll just reduce it to 50 that's fine. Now you can just select both the layers here and right click and you can merge these two layers. So that you can easily take the magic band tool and you can just go and click somewhere here. You can easily select this part of your site or sorry plan and you can hold shift and select again click here to select this area as well. Now since you have selected the entire space. You can just go ahead and you can even create a new layer here and we can just change the color over here and you can just go and hit alt plus backspace to add a color to that now if you feel like it's very dark you can just go and change the opacity for the same so this is perfect i feel you can just make it 60 So that's basically our black and white plan under. See, it's kind of very easy. It will hardly take two minutes for you to do such things. You can just go and add the numberings in here and you can make a table and list down the spaces. So that's basically our black and white render. Now let's go ahead and see the next type of render that is our smoky render. Now our second type of rendering is a smoky rendering so to do that i'll just go and turn this thing off the layer one which is basically our gradient gray color for the inner space now you can just go down to the master layer and you can just select the same area again over here you can hold shift and select this space as well now what we will do in here is we'll just go down and create a new layer and you can just go and name this layer as paint now with this layer go and take a brush and make sure that you have foreground and background color as black and white you can just press d to just turn in the default color over there and you can go ahead change the size of the brush you can use the size you can change the size from here or you can just use our square brackets to change the size so the square brackets can be used to change the size you can just use that now we'll keep this as a standard size and make sure the opacity of the brush is at 20 or 30 percent and the flow is at 20 or 30 percent and you just need to color it out or brush this thing in the corners and just make it look like these are the corner spaces here
So that's basically a smoky render and it goes very well with a black and white. So you can just add on a gradient shade using the brush and make sure you are using a soft brush with a low opacity and flow and you can get somewhat like something like this and you can just save your file, add on the text and add a table and you can present this. So it again, you can just add on more, two more minutes on Photoshop and you can get something somewhat like this. So this is basically all about our smoky render. You can just go ahead and add some trees like this randomly and you can just go and make a group out of it. So you can just go ahead and just select all the trees all together and after selecting you can just click here to create a group out of them so that it's easier for you to hide those trees and unhide them whenever you feel like. And you can go ahead and save both the types of your render. You can save your smoky render and you can save the black and white render as well. Now let's see a third type of plan rendering that is basically our color or texture rendering. So just create a new sheet for that. Click on create new. Now when you have to add a color, what I would suggest personally you should never add colors like you know a uh, different color uh, you sh now if you have to add colors over here what I would suggest you should always go for plain colors uh, personally I would say you can go ahead for gray for the entire area and sky blue or a light blue shade for the bathroom and a green for a garden space so let's see how we're gonna do that we'll go out back to our master layer and we'll just take our layer marquee tool and I'll just select this area and this is fine and since I have a break here so my bathroom won't get selected that's perfect now I'll go ahead and create a new layer here and just go and change the color here to a gray and it's the same way you can just press alt backspace to add a gray color over here and you can just press ctrl d to deselect and then you can go ahead and select the bathroom but now to select the bathroom you can just go and go back to the default layer again that's my master layer and I'll select the bathroom now in this case I'll go down and see there are some R, O and all so I'll hold shift and select these areas as well and even my A and B I'll select these two things and go ahead and create a new layer again not a group definitely so just go and create a new layer here and add change the color to a bit of sky blue sort of thing so i'll just select a color somewhat like this and you can do odd backspace so that gives me a uh, basically it looks like okay so there is a bathroom over here so sky blue will represent all sorts of your bathroom or uh, you know you can just if you have a powder room or anything you can just add a sky blue over there and for this part you can go ahead and add a light green shade or you can even add a texture of grass so you can just add trees with different opacity and you can then you can just group all the trees and you can save this and this is basically your uh, color rendering now we'll move ahead and we'll see the next type of rendering that is basically our uh, texture rendering and to do a texture rendering i'll just go and create a new file here same i'll just save this file as a portrait and before i go ahead and you know import my plan what you need to do you have to save some textures that you are going to use in here and the same texture has to be loaded in photoshop as well and to do that what you can do just open a texture drag and drop and open it as a new file now take a rectangular marquee tool and select this entire thing and go down to edit and you'll find the option called as uh, define texture so you'll find an option define texture and you can just name this texture and say okay so you can do the same thing for all the other texture as well and you can save the textures so make sure you have saved all the texture that you're going to use in your plan and then go ahead and import the plan which we'll be using now after adding colors to the wall we'll go ahead and start off with our pattern here so to do that you can just go down to the master layer and you can take the <coughs> magic wand tool and you can select the outer edge let's say i'll select this outer area 
and create a new layer and you can just go ahead and add a white color to this so i'll go and press ctrl backspace remember the shortcut to add a foreground color is alt backspace and the shortcut to add a background color that is white as of now is ctrl backspace now i'll go ahead and double click over here and i'll go down open my layer style and you have a pattern overlay option and you can just click here and change the pattern so i have a lot of add patterns here i'll take this as the soil and you can reduce the scale of your pattern here and you can reduce the opacity of your pattern somewhat like this you can see and i'll say you can even reduce it furthermore and you can say okay now that part is still selected so i'll go and create a new layer and again i'll press ctrl backspace to add a color to it and i'll double click and again i'll do a pattern overlay and this time instead of adding soil as a pattern i'll add a grass here you can keep the grass uh, scale and opacity as the same and this is fine and i press ctrl d to deselect now let's say i want to have a uneven texture of grass and soil over here so what i'm gonna do i'll just go down and on to my grass layer which is this i'll just can you can even rename it as grass so that there is no issue and i'll just go and add a layer mask now just add a layer mask to your grass layer by clicking on this icon add layer mask and you can take a press tool here change the size of your press tool and make sure that the opacity and flow is 20 to 30 percent and you have black on top so i'll just press x to get the black on top and you can start brushing the things here now when you start brushing the things you'll see that you'll get a uneven patch of basically your soil over there and why is that so since you have added a layer mask so you are brushing it with a black color so it will basically remove that content from your layer and you just have to do this and see how does this looks like so you can just go ahead and add the texture this way and you can just erase it or delete it using a layer mask and get a feel of both grass and your soil there and if you want to get the thing back if you feel like you have over erased something and you want it back so you can just go ahead and press x again to switch it to white color and you can start coloring it you will get the thing again over there so you can just add the texture this way and see how does this looks like so this is how i'll create my crown now moving ahead let's go and just do the texturing for the inner space as well so i'll take my magic band again and i'll go down to my master layer and i'll select this area now after selecting this area let's say for the bedroom i'm going to add a wooden tile or something so i'll just deselect this so even because there was an opening here so even the bedroom has got selected so i'll tell it, select my rectangular marquee tool and with shift you can add a selection so with alt you can delete a selection so i'll just go and do this and i'll make sure that this part of my bedroom gets deselected so you have selection on little here now let's go and create a new layer and we just go ahead and add Control backspace to add a white color to this and double click and you can just go down and add a pattern over here which can be your marble so i've already saved a pattern for marble so i'll select that and see it gets added you can go and change the scale as per your preference here you can change the opacity and you can use this so you can just change and add the opacity to this and you can do Control d to deselect this so the same way you can go ahead and add patterns for the bedroom, bathroom and even your balcony areas. You can add on trees with different opacities and same as your trees you can go ahead and add some furniture top PNGs as well and you can make this look like a realistic plan. So this is our texture plan rendering. So this is all about our plan rendering. So we have seen different four different types of plan rendering. I hope you have learned it well all the four different types now if you have any queries you can definitely reach us out and you can let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and if you really like this video then you can just like and subscribe to our channel and please let us know in the comment section what do you want to see in our next video thank you